Hey everybody, this is Retro. We're back with Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Marcus approached us. He said Eterna is the next city that gives a badge. So yeah, I went to Route 207, but you can't go till you have a bike. So he's going to Jubilife City, then Eterna. So I'm thinking we'll probably do the same thing. And he said, bye, who's got time to count? I don't know. But uh, he ran through there, so I suppose we should follow the guy in there. Because uh, that cave probably brings us somewhere. So let's go check it out. Uh, I think this would be episode 5. I'm pretty sure. If not, then I'll write it in the title. But yo everybody. Thank you guys for joining me. It'll be fun. And we're going to accomplish some stuff. Last Madeline is going to show her Pokemon. A Starly, which is a bird. And it's kind of a good one, because it doesn't look like a toaster, or a refrigerator, or an ice cooler, or something like that. And, uh, usually, you know, the new Pokemons looks like coolers, Pokemons, and ceiling fans and stuff. But, as you see, we caught another Pokemon named Faust, which is, you know, the guy who's, uh, in the legendary tale about selling souls and such things. Uh, that was a bunch of words with S at the beginning and stuff. So check it out, Branches is level 15. He's a turtle one. She said, oh, I lost. Wham, wham, wham. Well, get over it. Uh, shout out to everybody who's watching. You are all good people. And that's for sure. And that's why you subscribe to me. And uh, otherwise, you'd be watching like Mr. Beast or some of those you know real people who has worn their welcome out but check it out starly is trying to fight us with no trainer so let's just uh what should we do just run away or fight it i suppose we could fight it so the graphics are pretty damn good compared to like other ones you know and uh I would recommend this game as a best one for Nintendo Switch. That's a Pokemon game, without a doubt. Uh, but, you know, we're gonna have to face this trainer here with a blue cap on, because he doesn't like our red hat. Look, we have a red hat, he does not. So he sends out Cricket Hot, which is a weird name. But, you know. So Branches is going to make some quick work, work of him with a Leafage move, or Razor Leaf maybe. See how Razor Leaf is. Oh, that knocked that stupid Cricket thing right away. So hey, that's a good thing. And uh, see if he has any other Pokemon. Oh, that's it. Well, my goodness, dude, you still got to train your Pokemon. You know what I mean? But shout out to everybody watching. We are going to be checking out this region which is in pokemon diamond and also you know obviously in the one that was for nintendo ds and uh because this is a remake of that one so for people like me who had nintendo ds and stuff is freaking cool so hey there goes the shinx and the graphics on the ds were super terrible compared to this so a hey, there's like one thing out of 20,000 that Nintendo didn't mess up. And it was the graphics on this game. Okay. So check it out everybody. This one must say where you come from. I don't know if it's a guy or a woman. I don't know. But she said something about something. And then we have a clown right here. What's he talking about? Oh. Uh, berries are eaten by Pokemon. Mm-hmm. And as soon as they eat some, that's okay. I thought that guy was going to say something important. If you want to join a group, you can compete or cooperate. Yeah, I want to make a group. Of course. Who would not? You know what I mean? So let's make one. I forget. I'll call it Retro's. Yeah, Retro's group. Yeah, that's my name. Yeah, and enjoy because I'm in the group. Nope, I'm not joining another, another one. Or I'm not making another one. I made the group. Everybody who likes a group, you can join. Woohoo. Check it out. That guy told us something about Pokemon. I don't know why there's clowns with information around there. But yo, everybody. 
I'm going to Route 218 where there's a woman who's standing there alone with her bird Pokemon and she said she's looking for her boyfriend well he's probably with somebody else and you should probably go look for him okay that's my advice to her she should probably um, go and see what that guy's up to when she doesn't think uh, you know when he doesn't think she knows now check it out we're going inside this building which we don't know what it's for yet but oh it's a jubilife peoples I think Poketch, Pokey Etch President of the Pokey Etch Company. Your patience is rewarded by you get some memo pad Pokey Etch app. Woo, now I can jot down quick notes. Uh it's not very cool on my you know in my opinion, but you know. Oh it's a family run business. Well in that case, you know, no wonder. No, just kidding. Shout out to every family run business. For real, for real. Alright. And so there's nothing more to do in this building it seems so I'll check up one more like up the stairs and then I'll walk out of it because this guy says what does Pokemon stand for again anyway I'm the president of the company well then you know looks like it but this woman says she's married to that guy so props to her she must uh, she must not be able to see very much people everywhere make pokies apps she said Good for them and stuff. Let's check what's in the garbage. Nothing. They didn't have any garbage. Wow, there's some clean people, dude. Look at the floor. is shiny, too. And then let's go, you know, back down to the first level. Because I'm pretty sure we didn't need to be in this building. But it doesn't hurt to make sure we're acquainted with the cities. Which we're going to on our mission to, you know, train Pokemon. And do better than the Marcus man. Who always taunts us and says, Oh, you want a battle? Yes. Oh, well, then you're going to lose. Okie dokes. So let's go up here where we trigger a battle. Or no, an event. Rowan. He says, this, These miscreants are babbling utter nonsense. Show them some manners, if you will. Oh, Professor, may, why may you be so difficult? He says, Let's battle together and teach these people a lesson. He said, Wow. This guy's full of rage. I'm not. But, you know, we're going to get this uh, over with. There's two Team De Galactic grunts, you know what I'm saying? And they got different Pokemon. And then me and the woman there is throwing our Pokemon's moves in their direction. Check it out. The double battle thing is pretty fun. Like, it's actually better than most of the other Pokemon games, and I don't like any of the Pokemon Sword and Shield and all that. Ugh. Those games almost made me vomit. And I actually, you know, I, I had to pay for that one. The sword or whatever I got, and then it was the worst game I ever seen, and I was like, bro. You know, it kind of felt like it got smacked in the face. But yo, check it out. We got that Zubat, knocked it down, no problemo, and such things. And all that type of stuff. So, yo, they look pretty surprised. Uh, maybe they thought they were the best at Pokemon, but we've got news for them. Okay, it's not them, it's us. Uh, he said, because Team Galactic is benevolent, something about something. So they call themselves Team Galactics. It's a power that they're trying to harness. Well done. You battle quite capably, she says, or this guy says. And, uh, okay. Let's keep working on our Pokedex. Sounds like a deal to me, everybody. So, who's this guy coming up to us? Oh, that's a woman. Okay, those guys looked awfully scary, she says. My name's BB, she says. Hey, BB, uh. You know. She said we could put stickers on our Pokeballs, but I'd rather put, you know, something else on her. You know what I mean? Just kidding, everybody. Hey, I'm gonna probably end the episode here or so, probably, because, like, or close to this point, because, you know. We have a lot more to do, but we're already about 10 minutes in. So, yeah, we should just leave this part for uh, for our next episode. Thank everybody who watched this far very much. I really appreciate it. 
we'll see you next episode let me know what you want to see next in the comments and uh, if you want a shout out let me know in the comments i'll shout you out peace